Hello YouTube and welcome back to my bug. On this episode we are going to be talking about transmissions and the lack of having one. So let's get started. All right well here is my Volkswagen bus 091 bus box. This thing I got for $200 and I traded a old beat down pit bike for it. I thought it was a really good deal at the time. The guy didn't know anything about it. I get it home. I started using it for mock-up and things like that. Um, I just recently pulled the bell housing off, and I'll put a picture in here. The ring gear was toast. Uh, once I started looking into prices of installing a new ring, ring and pinion, getting this thing rebuilt, um, I was creeping up to $5,000 real fast. Talking to a couple of people about which transmissions they're running with the Honda 3 liter, or even above that, 3.5 liter. Uh, everyone's recommending the Mendiola. And of course, the Mendiola is a much stronger transmission, but it costs a lot more money. Whenever I started talking to these guys, they're saying that they rebuilt their 091s or their 002 boxes so many times that they could have already just purchased a Mendiola box or a higher strength transmission. I don't have the money right now to buy a Mendiola, so what I'm going to be doing is I purchased this Mendiola case right here. It's a Mendiola 2D. Um, I got it for a hundred bucks from a guy online. I saw it in the background of one of his posts. I messaged him and said, Hey, you want to get rid of that case? He said, yeah, it's broken. I said, perfect. That's what I want. Uh, yeah. So this thing's broken. I got it from a guy named Mike Prescott. Um, he shipped it out to me. You can see there it's cracked. It's no good. But what am I going to do with this case? It's no good. Um, uh, but I need to keep building and I don't have the money to purchase a brand new Mendiola transmission right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk to my guy, S2K Rabbit. Uh, he's got a 3D printer. I'm going to get a CAD file for the Mendiola 2D. I'm going to have him slice the model, and we'll be able to get the gear carrier and the nose cone separated and be able to print those. He'll also be able to slice and print the bell housing in four different sections, and I'll just glue them together. And then we'll have a mock-up transmission that we'll be able to put into the back of the bug. We'll be able to put the mock-up transmission in here, and then we'll be able to locate uh, where the shifter rod's going to go, all the mounts for the Mendiola, and also where we're going to put our engine. We have the engine over there sitting on a stand, and it's ready to go. So uh, that is the next step in completing this rear end. The other question you might be having is, how am I going to set my CVs? Uh, i got to have my CV axles in there to be able to set the travel numbers and uh, my bump stops and all that stuff to be able to see where the CV joints bind. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to design and have... Some plates cut here to hold a Type 1 rear axle bearing. And I've got some broken stub axles from Type 1 with 930 cups on them. And I'm going to get these installed in here after I get my plates designed and cut. And I got the numbers for the spacing between the two. So between the face of this and the face of the other one. So the spacing between here and here. I got that from the Weddle web website and it's ready to go. So... Um, all I got to do is just start creating parts, get these side plates on order, and then I'm going to get an engine adapter from Kennedy so I can place my engine. Let's get started. All right, so this is the spacer that sets the, the space between the two bearings. I got my two 930s. I cut these down to the half distance that I want. I want these two to touch right in the middle. Um, whenever I install this, ideally this one would touch inside. But the most important thing here, since this is setting our two CV cups inside of our mock-up, uh, that we're setting at 9.35. 
Mine is at 9.3. That's good enough for what I'm doing. But 9.35 is what the print says from Weddle. Once we have our plates built that'll bolt into the insides here, this will go inside. Once this is set down inside, our plates will bolt inside of here and they'll grab the two bearings in here. And then we'll be able to independently spin these two uh, CVs so we can set all our axle angles. So we're getting those laser cut out of HDPE uh, from Send Cut Send. But now we'll move on to getting our bell housing and our nose cone set up. guys we got the Mendiola mock-up transmission all completed we got the bell housing on we've got the gear carrier nose cone on we've got fully functioning CVs uh, one thing that we had to do with, that I wasn't anticipating was the plates were originally designed to mount to the outside I had to move them to the inside trim them down move them to the inside uh, so I can get the spacing correct between the two CV cups um, so now this transmission this mock-up transmission is ready to uh, put in the bug and we can start putting structure around it and get it ready to uh, line up our engine if you guys want to pick up any of these 3D printed mock-up parts, uh, I'd be happy to print them for you. And uh, if you guys want to pick up any Mize Bug merch, go to MizeBugStore.com. Um, thanks for following along, and I will catch you guys later.